Our guest on this episode is a man who has practiced art for many years. His passion includes tribal African drumming, singing, playing piano, art, and photography. He has studied samba, gamelan, conducting, and the Kodali methodology of pedagogy and um, tribal drumming and chant. He also holds a certificate of excellence in festive arts and culture. He successfully featured on the popular TV show The Voice of Ireland and has since been part of major musical events around Ireland, such as Gospel Rising, Treasure Unraveled in Dublin as facilitator and performer. He was also a judge at the last Limerick Got Talent event and coordinates the yearly One Voice concert in Limerick Island every year. He has been the musical director of the Limerick Gospel Choir for about five years and has won numerous awards with his choir over the years. Let's make welcome Mr. David F. Young Edio. Thank you very much. I get much. your name right. Well, yes, you okay. did. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so why did you decide to do music for your master's? Um, why, why I decided to do music? I, I tried to do geography before. Mm -hmm. I studied geography. I think it's, it came right from when I was little, you know. I was very attracted to music naturally. It was natural to me. And um, when I became mature, started making decisions myself, I just decided to do thing, um, anything that has that you know that would you know that would bring out that part of me and make mm -hmm. me have fulfillment. So that was why I did music. Oh, so you did geography for mom and dad? Yeah, I did that because that was what was available then. Oh. You know, I did it in Nigeria, and somehow after trying, you know how it is. You know, when you go to, when you try to get admission, you mm. you just try and the one that comes. Yeah, it's right? okay, just so that you don't get people who bash you at home. Oh, you're yeah, still at home. You've mm. not gotten admission. So I did that. I did that to a certain level, and after that, I had to go study music. I I studied music here in Nigeria first. Oh. Um, in Muson Center, I had that, I had the degree after that and I went mm -hmm. and I was, went for a master's with what I studied okay. and pushed on. So how does it feel to be, to understand music in itself yeah. and not be in the mainstream? Yeah. How does it feel? Well, mainstream doesn't really make you fulfilled mm -hmm. you know whatever makes you fulfilled is what matters you know some people may just like the fame and all those things but probably are not happy mm -hmm. so for me i feel very fulfilled the 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 kind of job i do you know it's not it's not really about the money it's about how you feel when you do what you do mm -hmm. You know, but money so, comes with it, though. Yeah, it does. Money brings joy. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it comes... The money makes it beautiful when, you know... Money is actually not the first stop, honestly. Because once you, once you, once you feel fulfilled, everything falls into place mm -hmm. somehow because you become an expert in your field and you will be sought after in a way because and you now select where you want to go and all that, and that's where the money now comes in, you know, charge, just to feel happy. Mm. So I, I think I'm okay and with where I am at now. Okay. So most of um, what you do yeah. are over there, Dublin, mm -hmm. Ireland. Yes. Are you coming back home to do anything soon? Yes, the plan is, before I left anyway, that was like seven years ago, mm -hmm. I really didn't know where I was going. I, 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 did, um, I did a master's in community music. Mm -hmm. I really didn't know what it was going to, what, what was about, what it was about. But after that, my, my concept, my idea about, you know, Nigeria and many things have changed. Mm -hmm. You know, the way we approach music, the, yes, just the way we approach music in general. And my coming back now, would be basically to to introduce those ideas. So you're coming back soon? Yeah, I plan I plan on coming back eventually mm -hmm. because there's a lot. Even while I'm there, there are things I face there mm -hmm. which I'm like, no, it shouldn't be. But since I came to Nigeria, I've been so free. I'm like, oh, this is beautiful. Even the Kekenapep 
you know, it gives me this kind of joy. Mm. Even sitting on the bike, I'm so happy about it. So I plan on coming back and, you know, just changing some perspective. Some people, the way they see things and let them know that this is actually beautiful. We can actually celebrate this. And there are people out there who are dying to see this that you don't think is beautiful. Mm. You know, just just bring some people to, just bring their attention to little things like a talking drum, those traditional things, you know, things like that about music in general. Well, so I, don't, I plan on doing that. Well, I, don't, I don't really know about your coming back uh, and why you <laughs> really want to come back. Yeah. Um, your first degree was in geography and yep. then you did your master's in um, community music. Yeah. I'm, I'm very particular when I meet with people. Um, I'm particular, aside more than what it is you're trying to do, yeah. I'm bothered about what drives you. Yeah. You know, before I get to accept and validate a man or anything, I want to know what's behind them, what drives you. So yeah. what would you say is your driving force? What drives you? What, what, are, your, what are your philosophies for living? What are your theosophies? What, what, what fuels you? Um, the reason behind everything you do. Yeah, in, in general, I will probably understand your question as what gives me fulfillment in what I do. Um, I've always been the reason, a music... The reason for why you do what you do. Yes. So I've always been a music person. And... I discovered myself when I started studying um, community music. Before I went there, before I went there, I was a music director for for so many years in different choirs and all that. So when I went there, I understood more. Some people call me gospel artist, but I don't really see myself as that because I have seen a bigger picture of who I am. Mm -hmm. And if you call me a gospel artist, you are confining me to a space that I am bigger than. So I call myself an artist, but when I say community music, many people may not understand that I'm a community musician, but I don't, I'm not only restricted to the church okay. and all that. People call me like, I have a place to go um, this weekend where I'll go and minister. That is still part of me. But what I do, what gives me fulfillment, back to your question, is the music comes into my head, and if I bring it out and see people, you know, expressing what is in my head, that is when I feel fulfilled. I do that a lot. So from directing choirs and going to study community music, going to a community where you have people who are, you know, probably going through things, special needs, we call them special needs. So is it safe to like, say fulfillment drives you? No, what gives me fulfillment mm -hmm. is the music. What drives me, mm -hmm. which I call what gives me fulfillment, is... Um, um, bringing out the music from my head okay. and seeing it work. Mm. You know, not just leaves here, but see it work mm. through people. If you're going that to make sense? describe your brand. Yeah, my brand. In a sentence, what would you say? Community music, that is who I am. I, I, I bring life to people. Mm. But you said people don't understand community music. Yes. So if you're going to break community music down, yes. what would you call it? I would say bringing life to any form of community. Okay. You know, true music, no. bringing life to any form of community. I could go to a place where people are suffering, you know, and do workshops like music. Mm. You know, we could take any container and we create something like it. So the music, I bring it out from you. I don't necessarily tell you what to do. Mm. So I bring it out from you. At the end of the day, you were like, how did I compose this? So it's a, it's a tricky thing. Okay. So you're some, somewhat some type of a community activist, but you do it with the instrument of music. Activist, activist is a strong word. Mm -hmm. I only bring life. I only make you happy at the end of it. Yeah. I could go to a community. I could go to the FE community. Yeah, because when you say you bring life, like if you come to a community where they don't have pipe bone clean water, they don't have electricity, yes. and you decide to do that. Yes. That is you bringing life to that community. And I give them water. Is yes. that what you mean? Yes. And that's that's another kind of. And then my own life is true music. Okay. Just to make people happy. Man is true music. What, and music makes them see, happy. What we see on these people to make you know that you know what I've affected these people. I've given them life. Um, definitely, music makes every community happy. So I can create. The idea is to go to any kind of community. Gather the kids, especially those ones who are happy. Yeah, but well, our know. time is almost up. It's all good. So it's I need all you good. to bring out the what do you say? You bring out your community music and yes. life. Bring out life in me right now. So just sing. In you? Yeah. You want me to sing? Yeah, for ten seconds. Oh, you have told me. <laughs> Jesus, you want me to sing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just sing anything. Uh, I don't think I'm a very good singer, oh, wow. especially in front of the camera. 
Okay. <laughs> but if you want me to do any song, I can do. Or let's do it together. Are you going to sing with me? Your 10 seconds is going. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Okay, it's all good. All right. Thank you so much. And that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, or Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to Michael Ankos, Ewaluo Ritsu, and Benny Yak, and the entire production team. And of course, our studio guest, David F. Young Idio. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Much. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you.